Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the third part of my horror game tutorial. And um, I want to thank you for 60 subscribers. Um, yeah, so let's start. Um, as I promised in the last tutorial, um, I'm going to be going over the door. The trigger door was the sound. And um, uh, what else did I promise? Oh yes, maybe like a little animation for the flashlight, um, that will make it, they'll make it like move, so it's realistic, so, key for the door, that will cover in part B, so in this tutorial, I'll just make the door for now, um, uh, maybe I'll just make the door right now, maybe not the key, um, so I'll just do the door. I'll cover the key if you guys ask for it, but that will be a little later. So first, let's let's take our walls here. Let's take our walls, duplicate it, and um, I'm gonna slide it over just like that. Put it to zero. No, put it to minus ninety. Damn it. So minus ninety. Um. And yeah, I think that's good. And uh. Yeah, that's good. And put the same one here. Oh, we got now space for the door. Now, what you want to do is you want to Google a door texture. Now, you're going to get a lot of textures. Um, I'm, I'm going to try to go with metal door texture just to keep the atmosphere. Okay, that looks sick, but I don't think we can open that door. But, um, that would be awesome. That would be like a slide door. So, just door texture. Let's get any door. Um, I'm just going to get this one. Save image as. Where do you want to put it? Textures. I already have a door office texture. I'm just going to. Have a second one. You can use the same texture. Just do what I did. Just Google it up. Um, textures. Might do importing the small assets. Might not. No. All right. So now you gotta create a cube for this. Gotta bring it where the door is. Make it all thick, not that thick. Make sure it fits. Bring this out a little bit like this. Make sure it's perfectly in spot. Alright, that, that looks good. Move back a little, and, and I think it's in spot, so what we're gonna do now, we go to our textures, I'm gonna write our door office texture right there, and um, and I, yeah. Alright, so we got our door. Now, if we play, if we play our game, if we play our game, um, the door doesn't really do anything. It's just there. Um, uh, all right, it's freezing. I'll get back to you in a second. All right, so um, as you can see, if we walk up to the door, it doesn't do anything. Um, 
it's just it's just there so uh one of me able to open the door so as you probably seen in my previous tutorial i already did a door tutorial if you guys haven't watched it please watch it because if you want to learn something you gotta watch my tutorial um so i already did this in my previous tutorial so just go on my openable door do door script wait for it to load and uh yeah so you got a script so let's go back to um this and right click on script create javascript let's call this door script ah damn okay who cares um door script y for some reason all right i just all right who cares all right let's save it click open you should open in whatever you got i got this model develop um and i'll be back as it loads all right we're back to this and now go back to the the script and you want to copy this whole script control c control c and anyway, paste it in right here and um you'll probably do this so just do what I do on um, your variable, all the different things. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is how it's going to look. I'm positive. Okay, so let's get back to this. It should not give any errors. All right, so it didn't give me any errors. That's good. We do not do anything with the script yet because this is the second part. We have to create an empty object. Yes, an empty object. We have to put it where our door, kind of like on the side of our door. This is our, the twisting point of our door. So this is the axis our door is going to be tw point twisting at. We call this door. And we want to drag our cube, which is our mesh, to our door to make it a child of a door. To make another game object empty and add a physics box collider to it. Make sure that it's a trigger. Make it bigger. Like that. Okay, this is our... Let's call this door trigger. We want to attach our script to the door trigger you want to touch your door right here set angle to 90 80 that's the speed that's the angle now if you play this we got a door awesome but we are not done yet we want to we wanna we wanna get the the sound for the door. So as soon as you know plain cube opening up, we wanna make it Alright so guys take your uh, door sound. Um I got mine right here. Um there it is. Yeah you here let me make it louder all right so that's it um i got that sound from i think sound bible so get your sound make sure it's mp3 make sure is a 2d sound so unselect the 3d sound click apply this is all in my um this is in my jump scare tutorial but it works for anything so for door trigger we are going to add audio audio source we're gonna add a door open and not play on awake this means that it, it starts playing whenever the game starts we don't want that and we're gonna add our 
I'm gonna make a new script first of all. Create a new script. It's called let's call it sound script. Open. Let's open up the sound script and, and we're gonna type in this code. Um so uh let's do this function on trigger enter two things open close close because we will need to use these all right so what we're going to type in is we're going to do actually here we're going to do other Collider. Now we're going to do our if statements. Um, if this thing audio is playing bracket open audio dot play. I actually kind of have no clue what it means. I just found it on Unity Answers and uh and oops we got we got an air here. So probably like this. Um let's see. What do you want? All right, so one second, I'll be right back with a fix. All right, so apparently this is how it has to look. Make sure it looks like this. Um, so yeah, I, I just got off my jump scare sound effects or tutorial. All right, so we got the script, control S, and this script, Works for pretty much any sound you want to play. Let's put our sound script in here. And one more thing is that if you wanted to play anymore after 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 you play, because you only open door once in our script, we have to do destroy dot audio. I'm pretty sure that's that's how it is. Or maybe not. Or maybe it is or Oh yeah, it is. So, let's try our game. So there we go. Um we got that working and um uh, one more thing I wanted to add is the small animation for the flashlight. Uh, let's see. Uh, flashlight. So we want to create an animation. Um, let's see the swing axe. When I apply our animation to the flashlight. All right, so we got our animator, and um, what we want to do is we want to. All right, so what we want to do is really gently just animate it a little bit. All right, so we want to do our rotation. Rotation X is up and down. That's what we want to do, just a little bit. Not too much, so let's add curves. So each half a second. So we're going to add a key. 
each half a second. It's gonna go by one. Maybe we're gonna change this key to like five. Maybe like okay, nine. So pretty much if we play this. I want to make it go. Go back to the normal in here. Then here we want it to go to minus nine. And here is going to go back to normal. back to normal so pretty much and um, yeah so so as you can see it's shaking up a little bit so it looks kind of real Alright, thank you for watching our tutorial. Um, please subscribe to my channel, it really helps. Um, and uh, see you uh, in the next video.